the Heimer Starline motorhome. It's a very luxurious motorhome. It's got a huge amount of carrying capacity in the garage, which can take as much as 450 kilos. Well, it's got a, one of these uh, moped things in the back right now, but I bet you could get two of them in there. It seems to me as though there's plenty of room for it. Now, let's have a look at the price because that's not the thing that you really want to know. It's 141,000 euros. Yes, I know, that's a lot of money. It's, uh, do the dimension, 779 length 235 width 307 centimeters high which shows that it's got a pretty good double floor inside so it should be nice and warm let's come to the back you've got the uh, what seems to be increasingly standard layout uh, lengthwise double beds you've got a bit here which uh, this will come out down here and you can put a cushion here and you've got an enormous bed in the uh, in the vehicle under here you've got a bit of storage and there you can get some of your uh, hanging stuff up uh, done and on the other side we've got more storage under the chairs uh, sorry the steps we've got access there to the water and there's somewhere where I keep my shoes although it's a bit of a odd shape because it goes in here probably because of the garage so you might want to keep your socks or something like, like that in there let's have a look at some of the cubby holes for example here there's a place you can keep your beer and you've got more storage within this double floor and there you've got your electronics including the inverter so uh, that's handy places to put things now notice that it is on a flat basis so you come out of here and it's flat all the way out Unfortunately, there is a bit of a, there isn't much space there between this chair and that one. That's why I, I'm not so keen on having that chair there. Although that chair is very handy for when you're sitting in the passenger chair, my favourite chair, and you can put your feet on it. Also, as you come in the van, you've got here to, to take your, your, your shoes off. You, so that's uh, uh, something you can do here. There's a telly in it and you can sit down here somewhere like that and watch the telly there's a bed over the driving position and as you can see it's pretty big i mean you've got there in fact over 30 centimeters easily has been taken away from the headroom to incorporate this bed the lighting uh, very much appeals to me the background lighting the lighting within the the drawers and you know I haven't actually done my uh, finished uh, doing my own van and I, I quite like this and maybe we could incorporate something like that within my own van it looks very nice there's a company called uh, Technoform we've actually uh, I've done a film with one of their things and uh, they, they design uh, furniture and all the rest and they've got something rather similar using two-tone furniture. Anyway, have a look at the film rather than me tell you about it right now. Here we have a large fat fridge with an oven uh, above it. Coming into the kitchen, relatively standard three-ring burner. We have here the sink. And if you wanted to actually do your chopping and things like this, your prep, you can actually do it over the sink. Although, well, I don't know, I like, I like to have access. I do it with a table and sit down and do something. Well, it depends what you want. Uh, it would work there as well. I like the way in which the, the, the knobs here are actually protected from the heat, which you, you can get when you're cooking with large pans. We have these uh, 
increasingly popular or increasingly used uh, slide out drawers. One, two. So you, can get, you can get plenty of wine in there, should that be what you're interested in. And got some hanging space there. Toilet. Which closes off there quite right, neatly. I'm a big fan of sliding draw, uh, sliding doors, and you've got the runner down there, and this comes across. As this is the shower and it's in a private area, do you need the uh, to be so you can't see? Would it be better if you could see through it? Uh, can you get a see-through sliding door? I don't know. I haven't seen any, and I did quite a lot of research into this in my own van. I don't particularly want one for sliding, uh, see-through one for my own my own. Uh, use, but I think in this maybe it would have come in handy. Having said, when, when you're in the shower, you've got a choice of lights, so and either be this sort of bluey, bluish one or whitish one, and you can open the skylight. Although, in my opinion, a translucent one, the letting light, would have been better. I like this thing here. Uh, useful for allowing your clothes to uh, drip dry when you've been out in the rain, or maybe you just washed your socks and your shirt after a particularly hot day. There's me. And there's a place to keep your deodorants, your uh, soaps, and all the other sort of stuff you might keep in the toilet or the bathroom. There's also a very handy ledge down here. No, quite, I, quite li I quite like that. I think that's a good looking thing. And here we've got a, um, a ledge as well. You sort of put a candle on that, of course the candle would have to be protected, but it's sort of a scented candle, and that would be very nice. And a uh, good sized sink, and more storage under there. This is more of what I would sort of term a classic uh, motorhome. I think the Starline has been on the go for about 20 years or so stand to be corrected on that one so I can't quite recall but it, it has uh, an image and feeling of grandeur of wealth of style which is helped of course by this uh, white leather uh, furniture up here well it's a it's a lovely looking van and uh, great for me but it does cost all that money, so but it's nice to look at it, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's have another look at it from the other side. And please see some other films I've done here at Dusseldorf, at Caravan Salon, indeed at other events as well. Indeed, you can see how I live in my own motorhome.